Hello and welcome to applying subheadings to pivot table data. Exercise number seven from the Excel Custom Classroom Training Advanced Level Training Manual. Brought to you by Shift Key Solutions and I am Eric Ripley. Okay, this exercise is a continuation of the last pivot table creation tutorial that we did earlier. In this one, we're going to create subheadings or sublevels to our data here. Right now I'm looking at the sales class of information that's kind of summarized here. What I want to do is create and add the item description under each one of these. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to add or click and drag the item description down below the sales class in our row labels box and when I do I can see it opens up here now the next thing and part of our training manual is to reconfigure the pivot table field list task pane over here so I'm gonna click the button up here the field selection and areas selection stacked and that tells us that it's stacked if I click this drop down I see I have several configurations the one I want to use is the side by side right here all right, so now if I look at my data here, uh, it's quite long and it's broken out into item description under each one of our sales classes, which is good to have. Now, what in our scenario, what we want to do is we want to know how the advertisement of regular sized apples compare against lunchbox size apples from year to year, meaning 2008 to 2009. So in order to do that, we're going to do some modifications to this. The first one will be to collapse all of these. Now, if I look in my ta pivot table here, I can see there's a little minus sign right here. That's a collapse indicator. If I click that, it'll change to a plus sign, which then is called an expand indicator. If I click it again, it opens it up. Well, I want to collapse everything all at once. I'm not going to scroll through this entire pivot table clicking each one of these to collapse them all. I'm going to come up to my options tab that's in my pivot tables tools contextual tab for here for options. Over in the active fields group, I'm going to click collapse entire field and it collapses them all. Next, I want to look at specific fields in here. I don't want to look at all of these. I just want to do one small slice or cross section. The ones I want to look at specifically will be the apples, Washington, bananas, and grapes. So the way I need to do that is to come up to my row labels filter drop down here, click this, and then here's a list of all of my sales classes that I have. Well, I want to click the select all to remove a check mark next to all of them. Then I want to select the the apples Washington bananas and grapes then I'll click OK and now it kind of summarizes it down and it displays to me only those that I've chosen now I'm gonna click the expand indicator here next to Washington that is apples Washington now I can see them all next I want to apply the price level field over to my field list so if I come over here here's my price level and I want to add that as a report filter. So I'm going to click and drag and drop that there. So now I hear, I have it here at the top of my worksheet. I'm going to click the drop down for there and then choose select multiple items. And then I want to deselect everything except for 12. And if you read the manual, it indicates that code 12 is for advertised items. So I'm going to click OK. So now here it tells me how that works and, and, and what the numbers are for each of these descriptions. Now this is good to have. Now I want, my next step is to make this a little more legible and a little easier to understand. I want to move this price level down to where it's next to the column headers. So I'm gonna grab this price level and I want it to appear down here in my column labels. There's a couple ways of doing it. If I click this drop down here and I just left clicked it, I can choose move to column labels and it'll drop it down here or I could have just simply click and drag it down to here so now here it appears I can see the 12 right here price level 
price level, and then this gives me a subtotal. Now to expand this out so I can see the different types of price level, again, 12 indicates advertised. What I wanna do is add another price level, which is zero, and zero represents regularly priced items, meaning they're not advertised or anything else. So the way I add that is to select this cell, B5, and then come to my column labels, filter, click that drop down, and then choose zero. So now I have zero and 12, regularly priced items and then advertised priced items. Click OK, and now they'll be next to each other side by side to include a subtotal for that year, as you can see. And for this report, we want to omit or remove the subtotals. The way we're going to do that is we're going to come up to our pivot table tools design contextual tab. And then over in our layout group, here's our subtotals button. We'll click this and we'll choose do not show subtotals. So it cleans it up a little bit better. Gala apples, which was regularly priced apples for 2008 against gala apples. You can clearly see that when they're advertised, they sell more over the course of a year. That's all the time I have for this video tutorial. Thanks for joining me. And if you didn't know how to do this before, well, now you know. And share this knowledge with whomever might need help. Thanks, and don't forget to comment.